Hi, this is Beanie, and with Fozzy uh, of New Metal Productions, and uh, tonight we're going to be talking to Pete from Severance, who will be competing on our Bloodstock uh, showcase. Hi, Pete. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, thanks, Beanie. How about yourself? We're all good. We've spoke to a few of the bands. Uh, we've got a few more to do as well. Uh, so can you just tell us how you feel about being selected and, um, you know, are you looking forward to getting back to playing live? Oh, man, uh, we're absolutely buzzing to be selected. Um, you know, to, to play Bloodstock would be, you know, it's it's one of them, it's on the bucket list. So, you know, fingers crossed, they're going to try and pull out the bag. And yeah, just to do gigs again, man. I mean, I've, I've almost forgotten what it's like. You know, I mean, how long? Did, I think it's well, it's it's well over a year, obviously, like with the lockdown and stuff. But I think it was a good few months before that since we played a gig as well. So just just really looking forward to it, man. I think like the energy, and obviously people people have missed gigs as well, right? So just you know, the energy when everybody comes back together, I think it's just going to be it should be something special, man. So yeah, we're, you know, I speak for the rest of the boys. We're all really, really, really chuffed to be a part of it, man. Looking forward to it. So obviously you, you missed out on a lot of gigs. You had a few gigs with us um, that you were going to do. Obviously, um, you know, for those that don't know, I'm part of the Mosh Games Cancer team as well, which you were going to play. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously you were going to be do doing the whole Bloodstock Metal to the Masses stuff as well. So uh, obviously what have you, with lockdown, that's all been cancelled. So what have you been doing to fill your time and to replace uh, the live gigs? Um. Well, as as a band, we've kind of we've kind of all got the ability to you know do little bits sort of remotely, and then kind of try and put them all together and do this, that, and the other. But so we've been doing a lot of that, really. Uh, you know, just flinging stuff, flinging stuff backwards and forwards. Um, we did at the during the lockdown, the first couple of months, we actually put out a new single. Um, there's a, a lyric video out for it at the moment. It's called God's Game. So check that out. Um, yeah, that was, you know, that was, it, it was a challenge uh, doing it through lockdown, but also quite an interesting experience because um, with doing stuff from home, um, you do lose a bit of the magic of everybody being together and whatnot, but at the same time, you can do it completely in your own time. So it was, it was quite an interesting experience really, but definitely looking forward to just being able to, you know, uh, bond as a band. Because I was saying to Fozzie before, I think that's when the, you know, when the true magic happens. You you lose a little something when it's when it's all remote. I think. Yeah, it's that personal connection, isn't it? That you know Absolutely. when you're all on stage together. It's you just the bounce energy off each other. You can't really yeah. describe it. It's just a, things, different things happen, you know. And there's when when you're in a group. So. So with regards to the other competing bands, you've probably got a little bit more history than most, haven't you? Um, that's, you know, a nice, you, that's a kind way of saying we're old, man. I like it. <laughs> well, to be fair, you you're not you're you're an older band, but you're not in the uh, in the older bracket, shall we say? Um, as yeah, a, do, as absolutely. Team, you know, yeah, so no, I you... mean, I I remember seeing you way back at Hammerfest, um, and obviously you played. Was it Wacken you played? We did play Wacken, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, you've played some some massive shows, and then you you split up for a while. Um, mm -hmm. And then when you came back, you were so well received. Uh, can you just tell us how that's come about? So you you getting back together and how you feel about being there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, like I said, we 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 were actually we were well technically on hiatus for like six years. So uh, during that time, you know, I mean, we all kind of went our separate ways. We all carried on doing little things musically, but. There was something missing, you know, um, and it just came to a point where we were all living back in the same area again. I think we all wanted it. You know, we all really missed it. So, yeah, we got back together in 20, 2019. It seems crazy that it's been two years since we've got back together already, you know, but obviously since one of it has just been a lockdown, it's we've only done half as much kind of thing. So I can't believe how long it's been since that show at the live rooms. It's what, June? Was it June, July 2019? Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, it's it? pushing <laughs> two years, man. Like <laughs> absolutely insane. But yeah, to, just to come back and to be so well received as well. Um, it just you know it, it was just a really really heartwarming really to you know to to call the people still you know they wanted to know what we were doing and you know we were relevant and stuff. So yeah, it was great, man. It was fantastic. Okay, so obviously with the lockdown and you say you've been working, you've released your new um, 
in, well, your, your single or lyric, lyric, lyric video. Um, what else have you got planned? Have you got EPs, albums, you know? Yeah, well, those those singles are off uh, an upcoming EP that we're currently working on. Um, it's going to be a five track, like sort of mini album, if you will. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we've got, as I say, uh, the the lockdown kind of put a bit of a spanner in the works because like we we did have plans to record it in a certain way, and obviously those plans fell through. So, um, but yeah, we've got we're about halfway through. I would say that's kind of you know about halfway through it. Um, so we, we don't really, I mean, to be honest with you, man, it's, it's, it's only been like relatively recently that we've, that we've, like I said, we've all kind of come back together because also the lockdown was a bit of a, it was a bit of a chance for us to have some breathing space as well, you know? So it's literally, as I speak to you guys now, everything's only just kind of, kind of starting back up again. So yeah, about halfway through the EP, um, hoping to get it finished by the end of May. So that's, you know, the, it's been pushed back a few times now, but May will be the one. <laughs> so, so fingers now. crossed product available for the uh, battle for the master show <laughs> yeah well this is it man yeah obviously we've um that's i think that that this is pro- this is top priority at the moment because obviously the dp's written it's just the case of you know all because again and this is the other thing when we record it we all want to be there because doing it separately it's just it's caused a couple of issues and stuff so we all want to make sure we're in the same room and that but yeah man Pulling and creating a, a decent set out of the bag to, you know, try and win this, man. That's 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 top priority at the moment. So really looking forward to it, man. Really looking forward to it. As I say, we've got um we've only done like three gigs because we've got as I say a new guitarist, but he's been with us for two years now, Jack. Um yeah, we you know, there's still a lot of stuff that we like a lot of his his skills that we kind of haven't been able to utilize yet in in terms of writing new stuff. So yeah, we're really excited, man, about um, just showcasing the our, our latest stuff, really, because I think we're we're all quite confident that it's um, yeah above and beyond anything that we've done before. Which is you know as as a musician, that's you know it's kind of what it's all about. You just want to be constantly stepping your game up, you know. So yeah, man, looking forward to it. The competition's good, so we're really gonna have to pull pulling out the bag on this one. So uh, how's the dynamic with uh, Jack coming in? It's because I know when you think about the history for the length of time, the rest of you have been kind of together and um, yeah. as he slotted straight in. Yeah, man, absolutely. Like, I think well, it's funny you should say that because I was actually having this conversation uh, the other day. It's like, I think an important part of being in Severinth is, you know, we, you, you've just got to be cool with everybody taking the piss out of each other. <laughs> it's, it's just what we do. I mean, it's brutal, Especially man. With David it's the brutal. <laughs> You've just got to be cool. And, you know, straight away, it was just, it's just, you know, the, it, it was just, it was a great dynamic. And like, you know, he's a, he's a shit up guitarist, man. So, you know, yeah, had some pretty big shoes to fill as well. And he's, he, he's, you know, he's filled them fantastically. So yeah, he's, uh, he, he's slotted straight in there, man. And like, like I say, the, the, the few gigs that we have done with him, um, you know, because the, the laughs that we've had have, as, uh, you know, have, have been just as good as, you know, any time in the past. So, and I think that's, it's a really important part as well, you know, the banter as it were. So yeah, man, it's good. It, it, it feels good. So in, in your time away, um, you know, did you, did you obviously grow as musicians and writers and have you got any new influences that might surprise us when we hear your new stuff? Oh yeah, I'd like to think so, man. I mean, I'm, I, I quite myself. I quite often just do just record covers, you know. Like I'll just take a like try just learn how to sing um, a song and I do a cover and put. It. And I find that's a good way to like because when you're singing other people's stuff, you like for me anyway. Um, I kind of I notice like if if a certain melody goes a certain way, I can tell when my brain's never thought that before, you know. And it kind of feels like that you've added something to the bank. Um, but yeah, man, like all of us, all of us love, you know, each individual part of what we do. So we're always kind of trying to, trying to step stuff up and whatnot. And um, yeah, man, I mean, I've, I've been, uh, I mean, I don't know if it, I get, I mean, I guess it subconsciously influences it, like, but I've, I've been really getting into like, uh, you know, have you heard this Russian Duma? Oh, yeah. <laughs> music? You heard this? Yeah, man, I've been getting proper into that. That's like, so yeah, you might hear a little bit of Russian Duma influence in there. <laughs> we'll have to, we'll have to see. I, I haven't got a clue what that is, by the way. So, my <laughs> uh, man, like, oh, it's it started off as like a novelty thing, but the more I listened to it, I was like, yeah, it's just like this, you know, just really kind of 
it's kind of like the, the cure and joy division kind of thing but like with a uh you know a, a russian depressant depression aspect to it all well. <laughs> right okay <laughs> Maybe I'm selling it very well, but it's, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. It's cool, like. <laughs> well, you, you, it's as, just as interesting, man. Yeah, I, I, I was like, brought I, up on my dying bride, so you can't be out miserable, me. Go on. Well, there you go, man. You know, I just, I just like, like anything. It's just, just you know, it, it's, it's just, it's not doesn't take itself too seriously. It's not trying to be cool. It's just, it's just interesting, you know. So yeah, man. Anyway, I've got to thank you and the Tivoli because um, I noticed that you've rescheduled your Hands On Gretel um, gig with uh, you supporting it for the uh, 4th of September. So I believe, the, man, yeah. The 4th of oh, September is my birthday. birthday. So that's worked out really well. And it's like... I'd definitely be what? wishing you on, man. You better be there. Five minutes for me to have... wander around the corner. So uh, yeah. that'd be pretty good, that. Have your birthday party there, man. It'll be a blast. Yeah, exactly. Grab you all that. Well, I was looking at um, Ash and Crown were playing in Cardiff, and I said to Beanie about it, but he didn't fancy Cardiff, so uh, we might have to just do the Tiv instead. I'll be the Tiv, man. <laughs> but, yeah, Tiv's a classic, so. isn't it? You well, I was going to say, from, from back in the day, obviously, I first ever saw you guys playing um, at the Tivoli. Um, oh, really? I mean, there's been. Was that um, Nino and Jess Fest by any chance? Yeah, it was absolutely yeah, yeah. cracked out, wasn't it? And um, yeah. it was great to see some of those faces back in 2019. Um, so uh, what we want to do is try and get them all back down to Central um, to support you for uh, the 3rd of July. It'll be uh, be quite good to have a decent crowd in front of you. Oh, man. Over get yourselves down, and guys. Sort of like, for, uh, seriously, you've got to cash in on that, you know, the nostalgia, the night out in Central. It's been, you know, it's been a long time. I can't wait, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be sweet. <laughs> it's going to be ace. We need more of that, though, man. You know, there's just—I mean, like the, the the amount of gigs that, like, you know, of this of this kind of scale and type. There used to be so many more than there are now. You know, I guess it's just so much more difficult for 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 promoters and whatnot these days. I mean, yeah. is it just me? I feel like those. You know, you, you used to be able to go. Uh, remember the Royal Mail Club and um and Mancock Collins, you know, and Panic Promotions would put those nights on, and it was like th- yeah. three quid to get in or whatever. <laughs> Those were the days, man. Those were the days. Unfortunately, we lose venues and we lose promoters and things like that. Mm-hmm. And people people lose a lot of money, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we're hoping, though, that the fact that people have not been able to say anything for a long time, um, that's going to get them all out. We, I know there's there's no Metal to the Masses shows in Liverpool, so a few people from that area are looking at coming over as well. Oh, um, perfect. But... You know, I, I just I just can't wait to see the first mosh pit and you I'm know so excited, man. I can't know, so like just get can't just imagine. to get the crowd going. Yeah, isn't it? It is gonna be it's gonna be something special, man. It really is. I'm just, well, uh, just Pete, you know, Pete on the monitors down the front. It. What is that, man? We'll have you down on the monitors at the front, warming the crowd up and making sure they're uh, they're all raring to go. <laughs> <laughs> like we're on them um, we're on like Spotify and all the major streaming platforms, man. Massive thanks to Pete from Severance. We will see you on the 3rd of July at Central in Wrexham for the Metal to the Masses final. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, Beanie. Thank you, Fozzie. It's been great. And good luck to all the rest of the bands as well, man. We're all absolutely buzzing to be part of it. So, yeah, get yourselves down. It's going to be, it's going to be something special, man. All the best, mate. See you now. Same to you guys. Thanks for your time, man. See you guys later. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pete from Severinth. This tune you're about to listen to is called God's Game. I hope you enjoy it, man.